Hey, what's up everybody? It's Kelly K, and I'm just coming back to you today and uh, today I actually want to just talk to uh, Christians, people who already call themselves believers of Jesus. You've accepted them to your, into your heart and that's the life you live. Um, I think we as Christians have a huge issue and a huge problem that we're all dealing with and that I think that we need to address. Um, first, I want to start off by just sharing with you my my favorite scripture of all times, which is actually uh, 1 Corinthians 14.1, that says to go after a life of love as if your life depends on it, because it does. I think that scripture is amazing, and it is telling you that the most important thing you can do is go after love. We need to love others. You need to realize that you are loved. You need to just make love your life. But what I realize, and I see it every day, and it drives me just crazy, I, cannot, I can't wrap my head around it, is Christians fighting other Christians, um, bashing them for, for what versions of the Bible they use, for, for what, what sins they do and don't do, um, for what preachers they listen to. And I, I don't understand it. I don't understand why you're wasting all your time bashing and criticizing other Christians when we've got a huge world full of lost, hurting, dying people that you could put that same time and effort and energy into talking to them and showing them the love of Jesus. But instead, all we do is hate each other. I mean, from the outside looking in, if I wasn't saved and I saw that's how saved people are going to treat other saved people, that's how Christians treat other Christians, I don't want in on that. I'm out. Done. I don't want it. So all I want to do is tell us Christians, look, we're on the same team. Same team. There's no need to be fighting each other. And what really upset me was yesterday I started reading all the, the hate talk and uh, comments that Carl Lentz was getting about Hillsong, New York City, and on his, his personal Instagram page. I mean, there was a picture of him at a U2 concert, and, and Christians were just destroying him about being at a U2 concert. Why? Why? What's the point? Let's love other people. I'm not saying you have to affirm everything that they do. I'm not saying that everything that, that Christians do is right, but I'm saying you can still love them. That's your job. Jesus is about soul transformation, not behavior modification. So don't get mad at somebody for what they do. Just show them the love of Jesus and then let him take care of the rest. That's not our job. It's not our job to look at somebody and tell them, oh, you can't do that. You can't be doing that. That's wrong. Wish you weren't doing that. Oh, I hate you for that. That's not what we're called to do. We're called to love each other. And we're called to do it as if your life depended on it. Because it does. So I just want to say to everybody today, let's try to love each other. Let, let, let's unify. How much more can we accomplish together than, than apart? If Satan's using us to attack us, that saves him a ton of work and he doesn't really have to do much. We have this amazing tool called the internet where you can actually say, post, do whatever you want and put out there and potentially millions of people are going to see it. And what are we using it for? To hate other people? To talk trash on other Christians? To get mad at the Message Bible or the NIV? Did you know that the Bible talks about love 551 times and it talks about hate 80 times? What do you think? Where do you think we should put all of our time and effort into? Love. It's easy to hate. It's easy to be mad at somebody and to bash somebody and talk trash at them, but it takes real character and real heart to show somebody love that's never going to love you back. This whole walk with Jesus isn't about you. It's not about what you think should happen or what you think people should do. It's about Jesus loving them. And your only job is to show everyone the love of Jesus. If people saw how much we loved others, they would want to come to Jesus. They would want to come and see him. But when all they do is see in us hate and talk trash on each other, they don't want any part of it. And I completely understand that. So today, let's just work on love. Take a look at your own life and see what areas you could love more. Share this with anybody that you know. We all need to get this through our heads and become one. Same team, yo. Same team. My name is Kelly Kay. Thank you guys so much. Y'all have a blessed day. I love you and we'll see you next time.